hi water signs cancer pisces scorpio welcome back to my channel thank you for being here for your reading we are going to be looking at who is about to confess their love emotions for you um this coming month so we're going to see who this person is who has a crush on you who wants to reveal their love who wants to reveal their interest to you water signs um this can be to the cross watchers uh dealing with a water sign or if you do have cancer pisces scorpio in your chart this reading is for you so um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that would be amazing otherwise let's have a look um, who is going to confess their emotions for you water signs okay strong leo Okay, I feel like this is someone new that's coming in. Okay, so someone that you just met. Um, I feel like with the magician, it's someone who's single, someone who's available. They're going to offer you a relationship here. We've got Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, Aries. So it may be someone under one of these signs who's going to come forward and reveal and confess to you that they have emotions for you. Now, for some of you with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, this could be someone you have had a relationship with. So it can be someone you're sort of currently... Um, talking to or it might be someone you've had a relationship with before you know maybe you've been engaged or married to this person that is the engagement card that is the marriage card um, or it's someone that has been engaged or married before to another person so they've had a history you know they, they have had these big things in their life before romantically I mean or it's someone that you always thought you'd end up married to or engaged to but for a lot of you I think with the ace of cups it's telling me it's a new connection it's a new kind of person um, water signs that's coming up um, I feel from your side you've always been a little bit back and forth with back and forth with this person so maybe this is someone you've been on and off with or maybe it's like you have interest with uh, in each other and then you meet other people and then you come back to each other it's always been a bit like um, a bit cat and mouse you've never actually managed to um, get the tie them down they haven't been uh, they haven't managed to sort of tie you down so I feel like it's divine timing we've got this clock and I feel like it's that the time is right this person feels like the time is right for them to sort of open up and, and say they have feelings for you look for some of you this person might be tied down you know it's a possibility that they have recently gotten engaged or married but I'm not really seeing betrayal I think that with the magician here I'm getting this person is single they're a very attractive in individual they're very independent they could be an entrepreneur or have their own business they travel a lot okay they might live elsewhere or travel a lot they're older than you um, is what I'm getting but they're a very spiritual person um, they could be older, but they've got a playful side. So they could be really funny. They might be really silly. You know, maybe they could be mature at times or they could have a couple of uh, children here. It could be like two teenagers. I always consider the pages as teenagers. So it could be, you know, this person, um, has a couple of kids. Uh, they, they may have adult children or adolescent children, um, next to them here. Um, I really feel like this is your twin flame though. You have that two of cups. So this is obviously not a minor connection. It has the potential to go far uh, between you and this person. So the potential to sort of get married or get engaged is coming up. And that's what this person is currently wanting in their life, marriage and engagement. Um, I feel like you've met this person in the physical rather than online so um you know maybe you bumped into each other on a night out i feel like it was fairly recently uh maybe you met through work maybe you met on the work commute or you met while you were out one weekend um but i feel like it was a face-to-face -face meeting with that um and there was instant chemistry instant connection between the both of you but it's gone through periods of like, there'll be a couple of days and you'll message this person and then you won't hear from each other for about a week and then you're sort of off and talking to other people and then, okay, yeah, I remember that person. So you message them again. So you've always had this little, yeah, this little back and forth, back and forth um, with this person. Uh, yeah, that's that's sort of what's coming to mind um, as as I look at this. Um, 
Okay, they could be also very religious. So I get that this person is like, has a strict religion. Maybe they go to church, they go to temple, they go to the mosque. Like they're very dedicated to their faith um, is what I'm getting. Uh, I feel like they're also like a leader. So they're a bit of a trendsetter. They're not so much a follower, they're a leader. Um, they could be like the oldest sibling in the family. Um, they might have sort of their own business or they sort of, uh, they're a manager, they're high up. They do well um, because they've got this, they've got this leadership energy about them. Um, but they're very fun loving. They like to have a good time. They're a good communicator. We've got the angel here. So I feel like this person is a great conversationalist. Um, they're a great storyteller or um, maybe they have they know multiple languages or you know they just they get on with people very well they've got the gift of the gab so this is someone that is um obviously very mentally stimulating um is what i'm getting as well it could be someone you have a history with like it could be someone like i said you were married or engaged to so i wouldn't be surprised if you do have that um I feel like they're going to do some sort of big display to show you how much they like you or to confess their feelings. So I feel like they might get you some flowers or they might book a really nice restaurant um, or they might take you out on a very expensive um, dinner or they may get you a very lavish gift. Like this person likes to spoil and when they have feelings for someone, they go all out. Like yeah it's just like they really like to spoil and they're going to spoil you water signs and you're absolutely going to love it you're going to love the attention this person is very attentive like it's just magic when you're with them and when they like you it's just it's all good you know they want to love you they want to look after you they want to please you they want to pleasure you like this is the kind of energy they're coming up with so you've got huge potential with them water signs if that's something you're wanting um you know, you can have a lot of fun with this person. You can have a lot of fun in this connection. Um, it's just about finding that balance, I guess, between the both of you. But it is a divine time in your life uh, romantically this upcoming month. So, um, you know, that's always that's always a good sign, I think. Um, really nice message here, though. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can become a channel member if you like. That's going to give you access to bonus readings and extended readings. Um, also, if you were after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. So please feel free to be in touch. Um, otherwise, I am going to leave it there and I'm sure we'll catch up very, very soon. So please keep an eye out on the channel for more readings. Um, really do appreciate you popping in so thank you so so much uh, water signs and we shall be in touch again very very soon so take care lots of angel blessings and bye for now